Welcome to Tips and Tricks with Photoshop. In this video I'm going to take you through a new method for sharpening your images. One that's non-destructive, doesn't have a problem with halo effects on the edge of the sharpening, and is a very very simple and easy method to work with, and one you may not have come across in the past. The first thing we're going to do is duplicate this background layer two times. So that's Control or Command J twice to duplicate. Then we're going to select those top two layers we're going to press Ctrl G to group them together and then we're going to change the group from its normal blend mode of pass through and we're going to change that to overlay. So that's the first stage. Second step is the top layer. We're just going to press Ctrl and I to invert that layer. Then the next thing we're going to do is change this blend mode to vivid light. Okay, that's the two first things. Now we're going to use a method that might seem a little bit alien. We're actually going to use a blur filter to actually sharpen this image. So the first thing we need to do is convert this layer to a smart filter layer. So I can just go to the filter menu, convert for smart filters, just say OK to the warning box. That's now become a smart filter, denoted by the little symbol in the corner. We're now ready to move on to the next step. So we're going to go to the filter menu, we're going to go down to the blur option and we're going to choose surface blur. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to keep the threshold quite low. If you increase the threshold too far you'll find that you will get a slight halo effect but by adjusting the threshold keeping it at a low low value we can get a very nice effect with it. And then we can use the radius setting to increase or decrease the amount of sharpening that's actually going on. So if I just zoom into this image behind take it up to 100% and just position it so we can see the clouds a little bit better. What I can do now is I can show you a before and after. So if I just uncheck the preview, if you take a look at the, the clouds, you can see they're quite nice, the detail in the mountains and so on is quite sharp. But once we hit the preview, the sky really pops, the clouds come alive and we can adjust this simply by increasing or decreasing the radius. So you can see if I increase it considerably we get a lot more contrast in the edges and we end up with a sharper looking image. Obviously this is going to be an image by image basis so I'm going to keep this down to a figure of around about, about 15. Seems to work quite nicely. And I'll click OK to that. So if I just turn off this group you can see the before, turn it back on, you can see the after. And we don't suffer from any of the, the horrible halo effects. Well, that was the quick tip from WZ2K for this time. I hope you've enjoyed it, and we'd love to see you on the forum if you've got any feedback or any questions. Until next time, take care.